Hey, I had a subscriber ask me a question on what type of equipment he should purchase when starting out his hotshot trucking company. Hey, so today I'm just out at one of my trucks and with some equipment in the back. And I'm just going to show you guys a real quick uh, equipment breakdown on what you guys should buy when you first start. I'm going to recommend a truck and a trailer too also. Hey, so here we go. I would recommend getting Ram 3500s. I have 2017 and 2018s. When it comes to the Ram 3500s, they come with diesel engines, Cummings, and also they come with Asens or Isons transmissions, however you want to pronounce it, and um, 4x4. So I would definitely recommend getting this style of truck. It's range anywhere from about 50 to 60,000. So let's roll into equipment. So the first thing is you guys want to get you a gooseneck lock for your trailer and this will prevent theft. So if you guys ever have to drop your trailer, you guys could put your gooseneck lock on to prevent theft. So next we have edge protectors and edge protectors are used to help preserve your straps. So if you're hauling any freight with sharp edges, you're going to put your edge protectors on so your straps won't get cut. So next we have chain binders. Chain binders are used to tighten your excess chains. So whenever you're securing a load that requires chains, you're going to use your chain binders and your chain binders will tighten up that excess chain to secure that load tight to the trailer. So next we have bungees and your bungees are used to tighten down your tarps. And also you can use your bungees for other things when it comes to securing freight down. So let's roll into the styles of straps you guys should have on your truck. This style of strap right here is to secure freight down to the trailer. And also rolling into another style of strap is your tire straps. And your tire straps are for when you're hauling cars or hauling anything that has wheels on it. So those are the two styles of straps that you guys should have on your trailer. So here's basically an example of all of the equipment you guys should have on your trailer and this is your basic equipment that's going to get you started so you guys can start making money out here and start securing your freight down to your trailer and also you guys have to have at least two tarps starting out in your your size tarps should be eight foot drop tarps so you need at least two tarps on your trailer Here's an example on how to use the strap roller. All you have to do is mount it to the rub rail and then you guys can start rolling up your strap. Hey, this strap roller will save you guys time. So after you guys get done unloading, you don't have to roll your straps up by hand. You could just use this strap roller and it would definitely help you guys out on expediting rolling up your straps. So here's just some equipment that you guys just have to have in your truck. You guys have to have your PPE protective personal equipment, which is your hard hat and a vest. A lot of the shippers, they're going to require you guys to have a hard hat and your vest on 
while you guys are loading up in their yard. And also, just in case if your ELD ever goes out, you guys have to have an ELD backup log book in your truck. That's an inspectable item from the DOT if they're ever doing a level one inspection on you. And also, you guys have to have your warning triangles in your truck. So this is another item that DOT looks at when they are doing an inspection on you. And also with your fire extinguisher, your fire extinguisher must be mounted on somewhere in your truck and you see right there how i just have mines mounted right there underneath my seat dot told me that's good to go so hey that's just some equipment you guys have to have in your truck also invest into a good trucker's gps i use this ram mcnally's trucker's gps where you could buy at any truck stop and i like to use this because it'll tell me where the nearest truck stops are the nearest travel plazas the nearest rest areas and also to tell me when the nearest weight scales are coming up so that's why i like to use the trucker's gps and also with my eld i use transflow i like it it's like 20 or 25 dollars a month all you have to do is plug it into your trucks obd port and download the app and everything to sync up in your truck and this will allow you guys to have an actual legitimate eld and also when it comes to using this ez pass for toes i like to use ez pass because it allowed me just to go through the actual ez pass lane for toes so i won't have to go through cash lanes which using that easy pass will definitely save you guys time out on the road hey so hopefully this video was able to help you guys out out there on what equipment to buy hey if you have any additional questions hit me up at broker at manistrans.com that's my email and also i have a lease on company called high speed logistics where we lease on owner operators too and we also provide dispatching services hey so if you guys want to be dispatched or if you guys looking to lease onto a company hey just visit my website at www.high-speedlogistics.com or you guys can send me an email at broker at and i'll get back to you hey so hopefully this video was able to help you guys out on what equipment to buy and you guys could go purchase this equipment and you guys could start making money Hey, like, subscribe, and comment. And also, when you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so you guys can be notified when I post another educational video on starting a trucking company. Hey, peace out.